What's up, everybody? Puck Mike here, back with another video. Today, reviewing 2223 Upper Deck Ultimate Collection Hockey Hobby Box. May 1st release date, one pack in the box with four cards in that pack. Premium product here from Upper Deck in terms of its price. One box will run you about $150 US right now. Before we dive into the checklist, if you want to see me open and talk about more hockey cards and follow me on this journey of hockey card collecting, go ahead, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on box breaks, in-depth card analysis, rookie spotlights, and so much more. You can also check out my other channel at Cards You Sports Cards, where I share my experience selling mostly low-end sports cards on eBay. All right, before we look at the specifics of the checklist, here's a look at what you get in the hobby box. One autograph, one autograph memorabilia, premium memorabilia, or premium insert. I'm always aware of products that Upper Deck calls premium because they seem to have a different idea than I do of what premium products mean sometimes. But at any rate, memorabilia cards, you get one of those. And then base parallels, ultimate introductions, or ultimate rookies, you get one of those as well. Honestly, the cool thing about this set is that every card in the base set is serial numbered. Veterans and Legends, 149 copies each. Rookies at $2.99 each. And then a few of the rookies I noticed only had 99 copies as well with autos. Those are really awesome. And then you have parallels. Blue, gold, purple, black. Certain cards do have autos as well. Like I mentioned, Veterans are 1 in 8. Legends 1 in 48 packs. Also with numbered parallels as well. And then there's a Jumbo Patch Auto Set, which pretty much mirrors the base checklist, but each player only has three cards each. So that's kind of cool. And more autos in the Pro Threads and Rookie Debut Threads set. Honestly, both sets look pretty awesome in terms of the crop of players you can get. There's a Relic set called Stick With Me, which actually looks pretty awesome. Awesome. The relic is part of the player's stick, and there's gold parallels of those numbered to five. Awesome names in that set. Ovi, McDavid, Hughes is in there, Lemieux, Messier, I mean, Crosby's in there. I did already see one of these on eBay going on auction, but I don't see the number, and there's no picture of the back of the card, so I'd be wary of that one, but it looks pretty awesome regardless. Like I said, there's a Lemieux out there, I think for a couple hundred dollars US. I mean, this entire box is loaded with relics and autos, so I'll give props to Upper Deck for that since it is so expensive. Other than the stick relics, the ultimate victory cards might be my favorite. I've always really like the Ultimate Victory designs. They have retro autographs, 1 in 48 packs, retro rookie autographs, 1 in 32, and then there's gold versions, which have just 10 copies each. So there's a look at the design there. That's a Kuzmenko. There's a Power Play Combos, which is 1 in 42 packs, and those have numbered parallels as well. <laughs> Uh... But if you're really looking for a dual patch, then these are the ones you want right here. Rookie Tandem Shield Patches numbered to two. Ultimate Shield Patches numbered one of one. And Ultimate Shield Patch Autos one of one. The Shield one of ones have a decent crop. Caulfield, Malcolm Soros. The only one I could see out there on eBay was Marchenko, which was around $300 Canadian. There's 15 cards in that set. I mean, pulling a decent name on one of those, you shouldn't have a hard time making your money back on that box. Obviously, it's so rare. The chances of doing that are very slim. But as I mentioned, the thing is loaded with parallels. I'll put collecting risk pretty low here. I try not to factor in cost too much when I'm looking at the collecting risk, just because for most of our collection cards versus cards we want to sell for profit, we aren't as concerned about the value on potential returns. Investing, I'll slap this right in the middle with all these upper deck products that are $200 plus with a small amount of cards, like four in this one. There's a big risk in that you might not get your money back, but this one is so loaded with memorabilia and autos and the crop of players is actually decent. So put it right here in the middle on this one. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this review of 2223 Upper Deck Ultimate Collection. It's been a little while since I've done a review. Been very busy with my other channel. Hoping to get back into doing some reviews here of some recent products and upcoming products that'll be released as well. As always, if you want to see me open and talk about more hockey cards and follow me on this journey of hockey card collecting, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on box breaks, in-depth card analysis, rookie spotlights, and so much more. You can also check out that other channel at Cards Do Sports Cards where I share my experience selling mostly low-end sports cards on eBay. Thank you all so much for watching and yeah, I'll check you later.